would like to thank you both for coming to We Kept America Great today. So I'm going to start off, if you could tell us your name and tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, I'm Jerry Demings, currently the sheriff in Orange County, Florida, which is a metro Orlando area. Just got elected as uh, the mayor of the county, and I will be sworn in on December the 4th. Wonderful. And I'm Val Demings, former chief of police at Orlando Police Department, and currently serving as the U.S. representative for the 10th Congressional District. That's wonderful. You guys look so great together. Are you are you married or something? We are. We are husband and wife, been married for 30 years. Yes. <laughs> it's been a good marriage. <laughs> We've been together a long time now. You guys are blessed. And I tell you, I know the folks are so proud of you both. Now, do you guys love America? Absolutely. We love our America. America is really a country that has given so much to people from around the globe. And we're just privileged to live in the United States of America. Of course we love America. America is by far the greatest country in the world. But we always have to remember and work hard to, to make America the land of opportunity for everyone. People of all colors, all nations, all backgrounds. This is the place where any boy, girl, woman or man should be able to fulfill their dream. That is wonderful. Now let me ask you guys something. As far as African Americans, as far as the contributions that they've made, what stands out the most from you guys' opinion? Well, I'm very privileged uh, to be standing here really as a great, great grandson of slaves to be able to be the youngest of uh, five children to my parents. I'm blessed that my father is still alive and 96 years young. Uh, my mother lived to be 95, and so we're the personification of really the hopes of the, of the slave and the dream of the slave to be able to be serving now in our various roles in our community and our nation. Well put. If you look through the pages of history, there is no great thing that has happened in this country in terms of building this country and making it the great country that it has always been that African Americans have not been a part of. There is no career, no skill, no uh, invention that was ever created without assistance from African Americans. And what we have to do is just keep that entrepreneurial spirit, spirit and the ability to be the best that we can be and live up to our potential, real and alive. No. A quick question, as far as with uh, the rhetoric and the things that's happening right now, controversial issues as far as uh, in America, what could be done to resolve issues as such? I think we have to look to our common experiences as opposed to the things that divide us. Uh, when we are the United States of America, it is all about uh, the commonalities that we exist and when we can look beyond uh, the things that separate us and to the things that unite us, we will truly be the greatest country in the world. I think that we have to elect leaders who know how to unify and not divide. I think it is the first, it should be the first requirement if you want to lead if you want to be the commander in chief or someone in local political office, then I believe your first obligation is to unify the community because we truly are stronger together. Yes, we are. So that means we got to get out and definitely vote. And one more thing, as far as uh, when it comes down to unifying and, and igniting a passion for the Americans today to come together as one, what would you say they should do? I think we definitely got to get out to vote to ensure that our voices are heard all across our nation from those in the highest office in the land right down to those of us who serve at the local level. I'm privileged to be uh, married to one of the most influential uh, women in the United States Congress and uh, I look forward to her leadership and her growth uh, and uh, her service to this nation as well. Wonderful. I think we can never forget that there are people white and black, who suffered, bled, and died so that we would have the right to vote. 
I believe it is really the last true equalizer. It doesn't matter the color of your skin, your gender, or how much money you have in the bank or your last name. Your vote should count, and we have to exercise that right. But then we also have to hold our leaders accountable. We need to be in our school board meetings. We need to be in our county and city commission meetings. We need to be in our, watch our government at work, hold our government accountable. When we don't like something, we should write letters and send emails and make phone calls. When we like what's being done, we should send emails, write letters, and make phone calls. But we, the, you know, our leaders and the community have to come together to keep our community strong, and we have to be actively engaged. That's wonderful. Maya Angelou says, you can't go through life with the catch of it on both hands. You've got to be able to throw back. Now, what would you throw back to America in wrapping this up that Americans can do? to unify ourselves? I think in order to have true unity, it will require uh, all Americans to have a healthy respect for one another. In the words of Mahatma Gandhi, he said that no culture can live if it seeks to be exclusive. Uh, uh, when we have a healthy sign of respect for one another, it is a symbol of progress. I would encourage young people to know their history um, to understand that we didn't get here by ourselves, that someone carried us basically. We stand on the shoulders of true greatness, whether that's from the bowels of the slave ships or our parents' generation. So number one, know our history. Number two, as leaders, we have to be accessible, right? We have to listen to the people who have put us in the positions that we're in. Listen to them because we are a government of the people, for the people, and by the people. And so we have to be accessible and listen to them so we can implement laws and policies that the people want. That's wonderful. Now, this is a dynamic duo couple. And I tell you, Batman and Robin, the Green Hornet and Cato, they don't have nothing on this couple. We kept America great today. We appreciate you guys, and we love what you're doing. And God bless you both in all your future endeavors. Thank you. Thank you.